Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about the question of factor fun. Fine. For each element a i, the number of index is j such that a j is a factor of a i and j is in a range of 0 to i minus 1. We need to find the number of such indexes. So given an array, let's say the array given to us is 5, 1, 4, 2, 6, 8. Fine. We need to output n space separated integers where the ith integer denotes the number of elements which is a factor of a i in the range of 0 to i minus 1. Fine. So this is my index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Obviously for the first number the answer will always be 0. Why? Because we need to find the elements which are factor in the range of 0 to i minus 1. But i minus 1 here is 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 which is nothing but invalid range. Fine. For the first number the answer is 0. For fourth we need to find out from 0 to i minus 1 that is from till the previous number is there any factor of 4. Is there any factor of 4? Yes. Factor of 4 is 1, 2, 4. Uh, so 1 is present. So we need that there is one factor. Now before 2, before 2, how many factors of 2 are present? Just 1. Before 6, how many factors of 6 are present? Just 1. Sorry, before 6, I think the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, 6. So it is 1 and 2. So there are two factors of 6. Before 8, how many factors of 8 are present? So it is 1, 8, 2, 4. So it is 1, 2, 4. So 1, 2, 4. All are present before 8. So it is 3. So before any number, how many factors of this number is present? We just need to find this out. That simple. Okay. So what can be the brute force approach? Or we can just find the factors using a root n approach. Fine. For this number, for each number, we can find a factor of this number using a root n approach. Fine. So we can run a loop for our array. On our array. And for each element, we can have a root of ai loop that calculates the number of factors that calculate the factors correct so n is the size of the array and for each time we are running a square root loop so we get a square n into square root n approach okay so in the worst case we get as n into square root ai approach whatever the maximum value of ai is fine okay this is fine this is acceptable now one more thing is not just the factors but also we need to know that these factors are present before this element or not correct we can get each factor but is this factor present before this element so in brute force we can think it like this is when we find a factor of ai we run a loop for zero always we run a loop from zero to i minus one and check whether this particular element is present or not if it is present increment by one if it is not present not incremented as simple as that but this increases the time complexity because for n minus one element for n n minus one element we will run a loop n minus two times now this increases the time complexity which we do not need we do not we cannot run a loop now now this becomes a nested loop which we should not run because already the time complexity is n multiplied by root of maximum element okay so maximum element can be 10 to the power of 6 and root of 10 to the power of 6 is just a constant value that is fine with us fine but we now cannot run a loop of n minus one size that is causing the issue okay we cannot run this loop so how can we optimize this that is nothing but the essence of this question rest the question is very very simple fine you just need to think how you can optimize this part okay getting a root you already know about it just think on this just pause the video and think on this fine okay so how we can do this is we can have let's say a frequency array now there are multiple ways this is just one of the way let's say we have a frequency array fine now this tells me like this okay so we have one four six eight suppose this is one one two four five six seven and eight okay so it is like this correct so currently everything is zero currently everything is zero that is none of the element has occurred till now fine we run the loop for i equal to 0 to i less than n fine i plus plus we get an answer variable to 0 now we run a loop for the factors for j equals to 1 to j less than square root of a of i correct j plus plus now a of i in this case is nothing but 1 fine we get its factors 
now when we get a factor of 1 okay when we get a factor of any number we will check whether that number is already present in my frequency array or not if it is present in my frequency array that means it has occurred before me that is the like, kind of logic we need to write if it has occurred in the frequency array that means it has occurred before me before this particular i fine so we will only increment the answer by frequency of the jth element but it should have occurred then only it will increment or we will simply increment zero it will not affect our answer fine so can you write this complete this code now that is let's say this was a hint just try to complete this code it's a very simple code therefore i am giving you the chances fine so let's see this now how we will do this so we run a loop for i answer equals to zero we run a loop to calculate its factors so if a of i mod j equal to equal to zero if we found a factor then also there are two cases just remember this correct so for example my a of i is 4 and j value is 1 so 4 mod 1 equal to equal to 0 fine yes it is true now we will simply check whether my 1 is already present and how many times it has occurred before 4 before i okay in our frequency array if it has occurred we will increment it but there is a case let's suppose j equals to 2 now when this comes that is 4 mod 2 when you divide 4 by 2 the next factor is also 2 because 2 into 2 is 4 when we divide 6 by 2 actually the next factor is 3 means 2 into 3 is 6 correct but here these 2 and these 2 are same when we divide a of i by j the answer also comes as j in this case we need to count it only once this is nothing but we need to take care of this point we need to count this only once so if my ai divided by j is also j in that case the answer will be simply uh, frequency of j is if this is not the case the answer will be frequency of j and also answer plus frequency of a of i divided by j that is nothing but my second factor okay this is nothing but if else condition that needs to be taken care of in this particular scenario now in this case 2 and 3 both frequencies will be added but in this case only two frequency will be added only once the frequency will be added okay finally we are simply going to print the answer fine and now we are going to increment our frequency a of i plus plus okay so how is is working one four two six eight one comes there is all the frequencies will definitely be zero the answer will be printed as zero now but in our frequency array my one has incremented now four when j value becomes one this condition satisfies okay this condition satisfies else we come to else and we increment answer plus equals to frequency of one answer plus equals to frequency of one what is frequency of one one so answer becomes one then answer plus equals to frequency of 4 because 4 divided by 1 is 4 what is frequency of 4 frequency of 4 is currently 0 because we have not actually incremented it till now fine so therefore answer plus 0 remains 1 and we print 1 for 4 now frequency of 4 is incremented by 1 that means we have accessed this element we have processed this element now make it frequency as 1 increment its frequency actually not make it once increment it frequency by 1 okay so it is plus equals to 1 now when for when it comes to process the element 2 for 1 and 4 we have already incremented their frequency suppose the array is something like this so for 2 4 has come twice and 1 has come twice fine when, so when we do the factors of 2 1 is coming two times so in the frequency of 1 it will be 2 so therefore the answer for this will become 2 fine so when a particular element is processed then we are incrementing its frequency fine and each time we are adding how many times that element has occurred before the current element if it is a factor that is the whole logic of this particular question fine you can have your own logic as well just to optimize this this is one of the logic that we are incrementing the frequency when that element is processed for the next element fine now for 8 all the elements are processed so you can see that in the uh, frequency array 1 will be 2 times 4 will be 2 times 2 will be 1 time and 6 will be 1 time now for 8 the factors are 1 2 and 4 so 2 plus 2 plus 1 5 will come as the answer for this test case okay this is how the question is solved now let's see its implementation so this is the exact same thing that i have shown you we are taking n as the input 
then array as input a frequency array initialized by zero then what we are doing is we are simply running a loop from i equals to zero to n and then j equals to one to square root of ai if it is a factor then there are two cases that i have explained fine each time we are adding it by frequency of j okay so if frequency of j is zero it will not affect anything if it is not zero we will increment our answer finally we are print printing the value and incrementing my frequency for the next element okay so this is the implementation for the particular question thank you